get ready 3 seconds 2 seconds start this appeal is directed against the judgment and order passed by the high court of jharkhand at ranchi in state of jharkhand versus mofil khan 2009 scc online 1046 dated 2 7 2009 by the impugn judgment and order the high court has confirmed the judgment of conviction dated 1 8 2008 passed by the district and session judge lohardaga in session trial number 128 of 2007 whereby and where under the learned session judge has convicted the two appellant accused and two others for offense under section 302 and 449 read with section 34 of indian penal court 1860 the high court while confirming the order of death sentence dated 5 8 2008 passed by the trial court in respect of the appellant accused has thought it fit to modify the sentence awarded to the other two accused persons Saddam Khan and Wakil Khan to life imprisonment. At the outset, the learned Amicus Sri Bimal Roy appearing for the two appellant accused has only assailed the order of sentence passed by the trial court and confirmed by the high court and restricted his argument to the quantum of punishment awarded. Therefore, the scope of this appeal is restricted to the determination of appropriate sentence that requires to award it to the appellant accused. Further, since other accused persons in the instant case are not in appeal before us, the discussion herein after will be confined to the fact relevant for the disposal of the present appeal. The prosecution case in brief is on 6 6 2007 at about 8.30 p.m., one Hanif Khan was offering namaz in the mosque at village Jharkhand. The appellant accused and others who are none other than the deceased brothers and nephews approached him and started assaulting him with surf as it weapons such as sword, tangi, buzali, etc. The deceased succumbed to the injuries inflicted by the accused persons, leaving the deceased at the spot. The appellant accused and the others proceeded towards the house of the deceased, whereupon hearing the cries of their father, the deceased sons Gufran Khan and Imran Khan had come out on the street. The appellant accused assaulted the two unarmed brothers with the aforesaid weapons due to which the two brothers collapsed and died in front of their house. Thereafter, the appellant accused and other entered the house of the deceased and committed murder of Kasuman, wife of the deceased and his four sons, namely Anis Khan, as at five years, Danish Khan, as at eight years, Yusuf Khan, physically disabled and as at about 18 years, and Meherban Khan, as at about 12 years. After committing murder of the six persons, the appellant accused threatened other members of the household, including their mother, Zainab Khatun, PW2, 
of meeting the same fate if they inform the police about the incident and thereafter left the house taking away certain documents relating to the lens, passbook, jewelry, etc. On 7-6-2007, at about 6 a.m., father of the deceased Ghaffar Khan PW1, upon being informed, reached the village and saw the dead body of the deceased lying at the mosque. The dead bodies of his grandsons, namely Gufran Khan and Imran Khan, were lying in front of the house and the dead bodies of his daughter-in-law, Kasuman, and her four sons were lying inside the house. There he was informed by his wife, PW2, of the manner in which the appellant accused along with others had committed the offence. Meanwhile, Chokidar of village had informed the police of the incident telephonically upon which Senha was entered on the police station and the officer in charge. Sambhunath Singh, PW13, reached the place of occurrence 